Welcome to Engineers Academy. I am going to solve this problem 376. In this problem, it is said that a part of a check on its design, a lower arm part of an automobile suspension is supported by bearings at A and B and subjected to the pairs of 900 Newton forces at C and D. Right, so it's the part of a automobile suspension system and this is a part right and it is supported by these two bearings at A and B and also by a spring right. So, the springs is, is not shown here, but the spring force is shown here this F s is the force of the spring right. And here are uh, two 900 forces applied right in the vertically upward direction at this point C and D. And says it it says that the suspension spring not shown for clarity exerts a force of S at E where E is in plane A, B, C, D, right. So, this point E is in the plane of this part. It is said they determine the magnitude of F s. So, we are required to find the magnitude of the spring force and the magnitudes F a and F b of the bearing, right. So, the reactions at F a and F b at point a and b are required and further it is said that which are F a and F b are perpendicular to the hinge axis. This is very important, right. So, this means that F a and F b the reactions are in the y z plane, right. Uh, they are talking about this a b line, right. So, if we draw these axes, if, if, the, if these are my coordinate system, if this is my x, y and z coordinates, right. So, they say that f a and f b reactions are perpendicular to the hinge, hinge axis is a b, right. So, now we can consider the hinge axis as this x axis is right. So, if F A and F B are perpendicular to the hinge axis, so they must be in the Y Z plane, right. If, if the force is in the Y Z plane, so they must be perpendicular to the X axis, right. So, this means that the reactions at F A and F B have two components and the X component will be 0, right. So, the one component will be along uh, X, if I draw that component, one component will be along Y. Right. So, this will be one component of the reaction at A. Let us let me write that this is A y let us say and there will be one another component that will be along the z axis is right. So, if I draw it here right and this will be A z and the resultant of both of these will be in the y z plane, right. So, they will be in this plane, they will be in this y z plane, right, in this plane. So, now if I draw the resultant of both of these, so this will be the resultant, right. And if this resultant is in the y z plane, so then it must be perpendicular to the x, uh, x axis or the a b axis, right. So, you people must understand this. So, this is given right that the x component of both the reactions at A and B is equal to 0. Similarly, the reaction we will have the reactions at B as well. So, uh, one reaction will be this will be the reaction along y at B. So, this will be B y and there will be one reaction at along the z direction, right. So, if I draw it, let me draw it in some other color, right, so that it is should be visible, right. So, this will be the reaction at B along z, right. So, if I draw it, so then this will be B z. So, first we will find this F s. So, if I write that this red arrow is F s, right. So, I will write that this is the spring force. So, this spring force is making 15 degrees with the z axis. This F s will have two components, right. So, one component will be along the z axis along the negative z, right. So, this will be one component and this will be F s cos of 15 degrees and there will be one another component and that component will be along the y axis is right. So, this will be one another component and this will be the sign component, right. So, let me write that this is f s y and this is f s z, right. So, the cos component is let us say that this is f s z, right. So, let me write that 
f s z is the cos component so it is f s cos of 15 degrees and f s y is f s sin of 15 degrees. So, first we will find this f s so for that I will apply this equilibrium condition summation of moment about x axis is equal to 0. So, if we apply this condition so this uh, these reactions a y and a z and this reaction b y and b z they are intersecting this x axis is right. So, they will not be included in this uh, equation right since they are eliminated by using this condition. So, to apply this condition we will observe all the forces from this direction right from the towards the negative axis right. So, we will observe these forces right. So, now as we can see that this 900 Newton force and this 100, 900 Newton force are producing the moment about the x axis is in this direction right. So, they will try to rotate this whole system in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction. So, the thumb will point out in the positive x direction right. So, I can write that this 900 and 900 and the perpendicular distance of both of these 900 from the x axis is, is also the same right. So, the perpendicular distance of both of these 900 Newton force from the x axis is this 170 mm plus 190 mm right. So, again remember I have told you people that when we are observing the forces when we are finding the moment about x. So, we are finding the moment about x. So, we will observe the forces along x from the x direction and if the forces are acting along the z axis is. So, the perpendicular distance will be along the third axis is right. So, the, the perpendicular distance will be along y for these two forces remember. So, the perpendicular distance of these 900 Newton force from the x axis is is this and this 170 plus 190 is along the y axis is right. So, we can write since we have 2 900 forces. So, 2 multiply by 900 multiply by the perpendicular distance which is 170 plus 190 mm right. So, and this will be plus. Similarly, as we can see that this f s y the y component of this spring force is intersecting the x axis is if we extend the line of action of this force right. So, this will not produce the moment about x. So, only this f s z component will produce the moment about the x axis is right. So, and if if we observe this f s z. So, it will try to rotate this this system in the downward direction right. So, this means that if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction. So, the thumb will point out in the negative y direction right. So, we can write that minus and this will be f s z. So, it is the cos component right. So, I can write that f s cos of 15 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this f s z along y is this 170 mm from the y axis is right. So, I will write 170 right. So, this will be equal to 0. So, from this we can find f s z. So, f s we can find f s. So, f s will be equal to this will be minus 2 into 900 into 170 plus 190 divided by minus cos of 15 into 170 right. So, this will give us f s. So, let me solve. So, f s comes out to be 3 9 4 6 Newtons right and if, and if we apply the approximation. So, then approximately f s is 3 9 5 0 Newton right. So, let us say that this is the f s 3 9 5 0 Newton. So, now we know this f s magnitude right. So, now if I apply another condition that is the equilibrium condition that is the summation of moment about y equal to 0 right. So, now if we apply the summation of moment about this y axis is. So, these reactions at a will be eliminated right since they are intersecting or uh, since they a y is parallel to this y axis and this a z is intersecting this uh, y axis is both of these reactions have 0 perpendicular distance from this y axis. So, they will be eliminated right. So, 
and similarly this by this by is parallel to the y axis so they will not this will not produce the moment about y axis so only this bz component will produce the uh, moment about about the y axis right and this fs will produce the moment about y axis right so while using this condition we we have eliminated this reactions at a and we will be able to find this b bz component right so for that we will observe the forces from the y direction right towards the positive y we will observe the forces like this right so for that as we can see that this 900 newton force is passing the line of action of this 900 newton force is passing through the y axis so this will not produce the moment about y so only this 900 newton force is producing the moment about y and as we can see that this 900 newton force will try to rotate the system about y axis is in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers so the thumb will point out in the positive y direction right so i can write that plus 900 newton and the perpendicular distance of this 900 newton from this y axis is, is this 180 mm and this perpendicular distance is along the x axis is right remember so this is 900 into 180 and then as we can see that this fsy is parallel to the y axis so it will not produce the moment about the y axis so this fsz will produce the moment about the y axis so and the and this will this fsz will try to rotate the system about y axis in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the negative y so i can write minus and fsz is fs cos of 15 degrees so fs is 3950 cos of 15 degrees right so this is fsz remember and the perpendicular distance of this fsz from the y axis is, is this 180 plus 120 right so 180 plus 120 and similarly this bz will try to rotate the system about y axis is in this direction right and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive y so again i will write plus and this will be b z and the perpendicular distance of this b z this b z from the y axis is this 180 plus 120 okay so it the, the total distance is given the perpendicular distance of this bz from y axis is this 420 mm right so the distance between a and b is 420 mm right so we can write directly so this is 420 and this will be equal to 0 so now in this equation we have one unknown so we can find bz so when we solve this equation so when we solve this so bz comes out to be 2340 newton right so now we know bz right now if i apply the summation of moment about z axis if i apply this third equilibrium condition the summation of moment about z axis is, is equal to zero so now all those forces which are parallel to the z axis will not be able to produce the moment about z axis right so first identify all those right so this nine these two 900 newton force are parallel to the z axis so they will not produce the moment about the z axis is this f as z is parallel to the z axis it will not produce the moment about z right this b z and this a z right and since this is the z axis so this a y is intersecting with the z axis so it will not produce the moment about z axis <coughs> so this means that while applying this condition only this b y is producing the moment about z and this fsy is producing the moment about z axis is right so now as we can see that this by will rotate the whole system in this direction about z axis is right so we will observe the forces from this direction right so this by will try to rotate the system in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the moment due to by will point out the thumb will point out in the negative z right so i will write minus by and the perpendicular distance of by from z axis is again this 420 mm right so i will multiply this with 420 
and similarly this f s y is producing the moment about z and the direction of this f s y is similar to b y. So, it will also produce the moment about z in this direction. So, again we will write minus and f s y. So, f s y is the sine component. So, it is f s sine of 15. So, f s is 3950 sine of 15 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this f s y from the z axis is this 180 plus 120. So, 180 plus 120 is 300 right. So, this is 180 plus 120. So, this will be equal to 0 right. So, this will give us B y. So, when we solve this, so B y comes out to be minus 730 Newtons right. So, this means that the assumed direction of B y is in the opposite direction right. So, B y is in the negative y direction right. So, this is the magnitude of v y. Now, if we apply this equilibrium condition that the summation of forces along y is equal to 0. So, we will add all those forces which all those forces are components which are acting along y. So, this a y is in the positive y direction. So, I will write a y plus this b y and we know the b y magnitude. <coughs> b y magnitude is minus 730 right. So, I will write minus 730 and then this f s y right. So, f s y is again in the positive direction. So, I will write 3950 sin of 15 degrees right and this will be equal to 0. So, this will give us a y. So, a y will be equal to 730 minus 3950 sin of 15 degrees. Now, if we apply the summation of forces along z equals to 0 right. So, as we can see that this a z is in the positive z. So, I will write a z plus b z. So, we know the b z magnitude, b z magnitude is 2, 3, 4, 0 Newton and minus this f s z right. So, minus f s cos of 15. So, 3, 9, 5, 0 cos of 15 degrees and these two 900 Newton force are acting in the positive z. So, I will write plus 2 into 900 equal to 0. So, a z will be equal to minus 2 3 4 0 plus 3 9 5 0 cos of 15 degrees minus 2 into 900. So, let me solve both of these. So, we will get a y and a z. So, a y is equal to minus 292 Newton and a z is equal to minus 325 Newtons. So, this means that we have to reverse the direction of a y and z as well right. Similarly, we are asked to find the total reactions at a and b. So, the total reaction at a will be equal to f a and this will be equal to a y square plus a z square under the root 2 right. So, we can find this. So, this will be 292 whole square plus 325 whole square under the root 2 and similarly the total reaction at B will be F B and this will be B Y plus B Z whole square right and under the root 2. So, uh, B Y is 730 whole square and B Z is 2340 whole square. So, when we solve this, so we will get the resultant reactions at A and B. So, let me solve it. The total reaction at A comes out to be 437 Newtons and the total reaction at B comes out to be 2451 Newtons right. So, this is the solution of this problem. If you people have not subscribed to my channel yet kindly subscribe my channel and if there is any question kindly write in the comment section.